all be coming in. Swamp, scent checking this, or maybe even visually checking it. It's pretty open. He's gonna sit here, watching this way, watch his back trail. I showed you the saddle, and I'm gonna put the saddle on, show you how I walk in the woods with it. Now, like I said in the video, I keep the leg straps on. Just personal preference, and one thing I might forget and or lose, but step through the leg straps. And here's the belt. Hold the stopper knot. Pull the belt in, boom, tight, done. I said I keep mine as far right as possible. I don't usually walk in with my pouch on the saddle. I like to keep it as streamlined as possible. That's why you don't see me with the pouch on the side, pouch on the ground in my pack. I get to the tree, I put it on, personal preference. But I'm at the truck basically. I'm gonna pull this bridge completely tight. I'm gonna take the tag in, go through the lineman's loop on both sides, and then back through and a little half hitch. Now take the tag in the belt, slide it through, and this is me walking in the woods. It. Super slim line, compact, nothing to get caught or anything. I had a lot of brush crawling on my hands and knees, and not having the pouch on is a plus because um, it will just get pulled on, ripped, uh, etc. etc. So, yeah, that's how I put the saddle on. That's how I walk with the saddle. Well, there we go. That little tree over there, I'm going to show you how I attach the, you know. Get to the base of the tree and pretty much do the reverse of what I just did. As I stated before, I don't walk in with nothing hanging on my saddle. I get to the base of the tree. I'll take my gum pouch out of my bag and pretty much just installed on the saddle. That people are like, why do you do it that way? You're losing time, speed, efficiency. Listen, I'm not worried about 30 seconds or a minute. So, that's why I don't do it. See? So, I don't personally like this. Personal preference. If you do that, whatever, that's cool. We're still friends. When I get to the tree, I keep everything. On my right. I'm going to be doing a simulated climb because of my ankle. So I want to act like I'm climbing the tree. Pull the linemen out. Now for me, I always put the screw part facing out. I don't know why. That's just what I do, and I'm consistent on both on both ends. So now, with a simulated climb, I'm at my platform's on. I'm standing on my platform. I'll take the belt, kind of loosen it up a little bit. Give me a little wiggle room. And now, when it comes to hunting in general, keep it consistent, do it the same every time. For me, the loop that the carabiner always goes in, goes on the left. And now tether height and length, it's all personal preference. This tree's leaning a little bit, so 
I'm gonna have this a little longer than needed. So now I'm attached to the tree, standing on my platform. I'm gonna loosen the linemans up a little bit. Make sure this feels kind of good. Now I'm gonna deploy the two panel. Still standing. And like I said, I don't have much space between the two panels, personal preference. But once I deploy that, I like to keep the linemans on because it helps get this just right. And I feel that I'm good. I lengthen the alignment. And that's pretty much it. Give it a few seconds. Make sure we're good. I see I need to drop this panel down a little bit. That's why I keep the alignments on. It's a lot easier to do it with no pressure. Ah, oh, there we go. So now I'll give it. You know. And for me, I said it's a it's a distance thing. Right now, probably like three or four inches, which is kind of what I like. I'm good. Take off the linemans. I go left to right. Tighten up the, set it in my pouch. And boom, we're hunting. And It'll be the reverse, you know, getting down. They want to get down after three hours. You shot a buck or whatever it might be. Process in reverse. And you can stand up, you take tension off this, it makes pulling up the panel easy. Whatever you do, don't grab up high, grab the carabiner. Yeah, let me let me go back to that. This is this is a, a super important. Whenever you have a knot, Prusik, I think a Swabish distal, whatever it might be, do never grab the knot. The knot can slide. They're designed to slide. Some people, I know I've done it a few times, I did it in the video that I grabbed. Grab the carabiner, designed the bite. You know, do not grab above the knot ever, 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 ever. Or grab the knot on this side. Always grab the carabiner. So, right. super important. Crazy important. Like I said, look. You can fall really fast. Right. Back to standing on the platform. Now you want to lengthen the tether a little bit so you can take it off.
No. See, I don't really do anything with that climbing down. I'll just tighten my belt back up and start your descent. That's pretty much how I use the, the saddle. Um, I wish my ankle was better. I'd do a little bit better climbing review, but until the ankle gets better, this is what you get. Hopefully everybody enjoyed. Latitude Outdoors. Check them out.